Guys, on today's show, I am going to be doing up some cream cheese pineapple pig shots with a little gallery twist. Guys, a week or two back, my buddy Darren from Ash Kick and Barbecue did a pig shot video. I'll leave information on that video down below. But hey, man, it was at that moment I knew I was going to be putting that gallery twist on it and doing it up my way. So look, man, that's where we are today. Basically, what I am going to do is I am going to smoke a chuck roast for five hours and get that toothpick tender. I'm going to let that rest overnight in the fridge. Meanwhile, I'm going to get my ingredients together, which are going to be real simple, man. Some thick cut bacon, some cream cheese. Of course, that Uncle Steve's shake, dessert shake is going to go killer with this. And of course, some pineapple. I was watching Sandy Bullock over at Hay Grill Hay, and she did a, uh, well, she put her little twist on this recipe and did a cream cheese pineapple. And I thought, man, that would just go great because it is gonna give me the uh, saltiness with the bacon, the sweetness with the pineapple, and of course, the, uh, the beef chuck roast wrapped in that bacon, man. Put it all together, man. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty killer. So look, man, enough talk. I'm gonna start with some B-roll footage, get you past the uh, chuck when I smoked the chuck yesterday. And then right after that, we will pick it up and I'll put all this together and then get it on the pit boss. When picking out the uh, chuck for this cook here, you definitely wanna keep it on the thinner side, one inch to one and a half inch will do you right. Also, I am going to hit it with some Uncle Steve's shake. You definitely want a little bit of flavor, a little bit of bite, and a nice rub on that meat will definitely take this recipe up through the roof. I have information on this competition cow powder and all the other Uncle Steve shakes down below in the description. And hey, man, if you order it, ask them for that gallery backyard barbecue label. So look, on this chuck roast, usually I go about 250 Fahrenheit, but today I'm going to go 300 Fahrenheit. I want it done within the uh, five hour range, and I will hit it with some straight up apple cider vinegar. I mean, look, we're not really moving too much. We're in the stall. We got a nice bark on this uh, on this chuck, and that's really all I was after. So what I'm going to do here, just to move it along, I'm going to wrap it up in some foil and take it right to toothpick tender or 200 Fahrenheit. And as you could see, we're about four hours and 15 minutes in or so. So we picked up about 45 minutes and that's good enough for me. I'll get this out, I'll get it unwrapped and we'll get it in the fridge for an overnight rest. So look on this chuck, you definitely don't want that heavy fat lay right in there. You don't want to wrap that up. You don't want to bite on that. So I'm going to just remove that. So look, I'm thinking a one and a half inch by one and a half inch or one inch by one inch, somewhere in that range will be perfect for this recipe. 
Now look, I'm only gonna use about a quarter, a little more than a quarter of this chuck because I got something in the works for the rest of it. And also you definitely want a, a thick cut bacon and cut it in half. And if you don't have these little pokies right there, just wet down a toothpick, stick a toothpick in there and oh, you'll be good yeah. to go. So look, basically what you're doing here is you're basically building a shot glass, right? You're gonna, uh, that's the uh, bottom is gonna be the chuck. There's your shot glass. That is gonna take the uh, filling and that is called a uh, pig shot. Oh yeah. Oh. Guys, check the show notes for the ingredient list, but hey man, basically it is gonna be cream cheese. I am gonna chunk out this uh, pineapple, just kind of slice it up a little bit. Get some of that canned pineapple juice in. Incorporate all that together. And then the secret weapon, the sweet dessert shake by Uncle Steve Shake. Hit it with that. Incorporate that together. Get it in a uh, glad bag, snip the edge, and use it as a uh, as a pastry bag. Oh yeah, there you go. And let me tell you, man, cream cheese to pineapple with the saltiness of that bacon is a. Uh, I'm telling you, it is a killer combo. And oh yeah, a little bit of that sweet dessert shake on top and forget about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Through the roof. Through the roof. All right, man, look, everything is looking pretty good. A little looser going on. I had to, uh, it's about 25 out here, so the, uh, the cream cheese was, 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 was too much to work with, so I had to loosen it up in the mic put a little uh, pineapple juice in there mixed with chunks. Got a little loose, but a lot of that dripped out here on the board. It is tight above the meat. And hey man, I am looking forward to this. I am figuring, because this got a killer flavor with that saltiness of the bacon, the sweetness of that. Top it off with this Uncle Steve shake, dessert shake. I'm thinking this is gonna be good, man. When the bacon is done, this will be done. I'll bring you back when I check it in about a half hour. I got the pit at 300 Fahrenheit. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, one blew apart. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Is this a meal or a dessert? All right, guys, total cook time is a little over an hour and a half. I did turn the pit up to uh, pretty much high 400 and up just to crisp up that bacon good. I am going no sauce on this. I really want to get that pineapple taste and so forth. You can go either way. Let me turn all the cameras around, take you in, get it off, get it on the board. A couple snaps, a little rest, and then I'll bring you back to that taste test. You know, what could I say, man? I think we all know how this is gonna taste, but what I wanna do here is go in and taste these little morsels with the uh, 
with the chuck in there because uh, something about bacon and chuck that just seems like, uh, you know, good stuff. And I got Molly just kind of staring at me. So I can give her some of this, but I don't think the uh, sweetness is good for her. So let's go in. Let's get a uh, little taste test on this. Mmm. Mmm. So guys, we know right there, beef, chuck, smoked, wrapped in bacon is an awesome appetizer, man. I could see, you know, I could see hooking up some kind of a dipping sauce with this. You know, maybe a horseradish sauce. That may be, uh, that may be another video, man, because this was really, really good, man. The, uh, the chuck is just fall apart, man. All righty. All right, man, here we go. We're gonna dive right in. I'm gonna try to get some of the meat, bacon, and the filling all in one bite. Wish me luck. Mm. Wow. Guys, one, two, three, let's say it together. Forget about it, man. I knew once I bit into it, my taste buds just started firing off because that cream cheese and pineapple, man, is out the forefront with that Uncle Steve shake. That is the sweetness, and then the saltiness of the bacon, and that also that Uncle Steve Shea competition cow powder that I put on that meat is all right there to back it all up, man. This is a, uh, this is not only a home run, this is a grand slam. Let me go in again one more time. Guys, you're gonna have to write this down, man. This is this is a, a not only a must make. This is a, a this is a 1,000% have to make. All right, guys, look, man. I am gonna wrap this video up. I want to thank my YouTube join and Patreon members. New program for these guys. I will be pulling a name out of the hat live, and they will win prizes anywhere from thermometers to maybe even grills. I mean, who knows? Whatever comes to the channel is going to go out to them and look man also i'll have uh i'll have sporadic giveaways for everybody coming soon you definitely want to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because the summer's coming up man and you are definitely going to want to miss anything that's going on here in the shack and until next time me and molly will see you soon